The NBA is as wide open as it's ever been right now. Never before has there been so many teams in the championship conversation. Usually it's only about two or three teams with a legit shot to win it all. But this year, you can make the case for about seven or eight teams. And that list expanded at the NBA trade deadline with blockbuster moves like Kevin Durant to the Phoenix Suns and Kyrie Irving to the Dallas Mavericks. Now some fans are ready to declare the new look star-studded Phoenix Suns as the team to beat in the Western Conference. But are we sure that the Denver Nuggets, the team that's dominated the NBA all season long, still should it be the favorite to come out the West? The Nuggets not only have the one seed, but they also have great team chemistry and they have a core of players that's been together for years now. And the same can't be said for a new look Phoenix Suns team that hasn't played one minute together with just about 20 games left in the season. So even though some people are quick to crown the Suns as Western Conference champions, this video is going to explain why it's the Denver Nuggets that are still the team to beat in the West. The Nuggets not only have the number one seed in the Western Conference, but they also have the best home record in the NBA at 27 and 4. And just like the Denver Nuggets do a great job of defending their home court, you may also want to do a great job of defending your identity. And that's why I'm excited to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Aura. Just about anyone can find your personal information online. You ever wonder why you get so many of those annoying calls from telemarketers? That's because companies called data brokers profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will identify those data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, and protects your devices from malware. Let Aura do the hard work of protecting your identity online. You can use my link, aura.com slash more hoops to try two weeks for free, and you'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. You can access the link in the video description or scan the QR code on the screen. Now back to the video. One of the reasons the Nuggets should be considered the team to beat in the West is because they're elite on both ends of the court. Offensively, the Nuggets are second to none in today's NBA, raking first in offensive rating. Defensively, the Nuggets also compete at a high level, raking eighth in the NBA in defensive rating since Thanksgiving. The fact that the Nuggets are dominant on both ends of the court makes them capable of winning games in multiple ways, whether it's out shooting opponents or suffocating them defensively. The Nuggets are led by Nikola Jokic, who somehow manages to get better every year. This season, he's having a year for the ages, averaging 25 points, 11 boards, and 10 assists per game. If he keeps this up, Jokic will become just the third player in league history to average a triple-double in a season behind Oscar Robinson and Russell Westbrook. And the fact that he's doing this at the center position is absurd. What's even more absurd is his efficiency. Jokic is scoring the ball at an insane 70% true shooting percentage and if maintained, this would be the highest true shooting percentage for a player scoring over 24 a game. Jokic is a historically efficient high volume scorer while also being an incredible playmaker that makes few mistakes on the court. But as good as Nikola Jokic has been over these past two MVP seasons, the Nuggets have still failed to escape the second round in each of them and that's largely due to the lack of elite shot creation around the Joker. But this time around, the Nuggets will have a healthy Jamal Murray. Now he started off the year slowly due to coming off a torn ACL, but in his last 20 games, he's averaging 23 points and 6 assists per game on 47% shooting from the field and 43% from 3. Murray is one of the top scorers in the league, not only having the ability to dominate the paint thanks to his speed and acrobatic finishing moves around the rim, but also having the ability to dominate from beyond the arc with his pull-up three-point shooting. And while Murray is a score-first player, he's also a very willing passer that can create easy baskets for his teammates. Having Jamal Murray playing at an all-star level eases the Joker's offensive burden and gives the Nuggets two elite shot creators, but the Nuggets also have other players that can take over games. 
The Nuggets will also have Michael Porter Jr. this time around, who they didn't have in last year's playoffs. And even though most of his shots are assisted, MPJ can get hot and put up 30 on any given night. He scores really well on cuts to the basket and running in transition, and he's also a knockdown shooter. Aaron Gordon is also a very good scorer for the Nuggets. He's averaging 17 a game, and he's another guy that benefits greatly off the Nuggets' ball movement, whether it's scoring off lobs and cuts or hitting the catch and shoot three pointer. Having so many offensive weapons and so many good three point shooters that hit high percentage from deep is a huge reason why the Nuggets have the best offense in the NBA, and this will make them incredibly difficult to defend come playoff time. Not only do the Nuggets have an unbelievable offense, but they also close games better than any other team in the league, ranking number one in net rating in the clutch. This is largely thanks to having two great closers between Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. Both players are very well poised in crunch time and have hit countless big shots in the clutch in their careers, both in the regular season and in the postseason. And this really bodes well for a championship run for the Nuggets as playoff games regularly come down to the wire and having clutch shot making often means the difference between winning and losing. But what about the other end of the floor? The Nuggets have mostly struggled on defense in the Nikola Jokic era, which is why the front office acquired defensive studs like KCP and Bruce Brown last offseason. Contavious Caldwell Pope is a great perimeter defender who has plenty of experience slowing down the NBA's best scorers, especially in the playoffs. Bruce Brown is also a great perimeter defender with playoff experience, but the Nuggets' best defender this year has been Aaron Gordon, where his size and athleticism at 6'9 allow him to guard the big wing players in the league while also defending the speedy point guards as well. And players like Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr., who have struggled defensively in the past, have really increased their effort on the less glamorous end this year. The Nuggets play great team defense, whether it's closing out hard on shooters or providing weak side help defense. And the fact that they have a ton of lockdown defenders gives Denver great versatility and allows them to match up with just about any team in the NBA defensively. With a Denver Nuggets team that has ultra elite offense, a great team defense, and better clutch play than any other team in the league, I wouldn't be so quick to declare a Suns team that just formed in the home stretch of the season as the favorite to get out the West. As far as I'm concerned, the Denver Nuggets are still the team to beat in the Western Conference. But now I want to hear from you guys. Do you think that the Denver Nuggets should be considered the favorite to get out of the West? Let me know in the comments. Guys, like the Nuggets, I'm also trying to achieve greatness. I'm trying to get to 15,000 subscribers before June. So please, if you enjoyed this content and want to see more dope content just like it, please drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next video.